if I've been listening to my story about what I would ideally be thinking, feeling, and experiencing, it it argues with my current experience. And that's how you know it's sinking in. So if I'm at the gym and I'm struggling, I'm like, I hate it here. That voice will come into my mind and be like, no, you love working out. You feel your best when you're at the gym. And that will become the new normal for me. So yes, I may still have a bad day at the gym, but I now identify as someone who usually loves to be at the gym. And that just becomes more and more true over time. Today I want to share with you guys a method that I've used in the past to completely shift my identity and to move myself closer to being the best version of myself or the version of myself that is having the experiences that I truly want to have. Every year I do have a more involved process that I use for setting specific goals and targets. I know not everybody is a New Year's resolution goal setting type person. So this video is for those of you who want to make big changes in your life but aren't really into the whole goal setting and tracking uh, method that a lot of people tell you to use. This method gets to the bottom of what it really means to become the person that is experiencing the things that you want to experience. So this method will allow you to program your subconscious mind in order to become a person that has the things that you want to have. This process really gets down to the root of the matter. We can set a goal to lose weight, but becoming a person who prioritizes health and wellness is a real win and one that can create permanent changes. We can have a goal to be wealthy and to have you know a seven figure a year business or income but becoming the type of person who thinks in such a way that they create the value it takes to have a seven figure income is the real target. It's the real thing that we're after because these numbers are arbitrary. A weight is arbitrary. A body weight is arbitrary. A number in the bank account is arbitrary, but becoming a person who creates a great value, becoming a person who feels energized and is having certain types of experiences is what we're really after. So for the past several years, I've been using the Law of Attraction Planner here. I think I have like four or five of them sitting over on my desk. But each year it takes you through all these different areas of life. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Um, and so one year, I think it was maybe like the third year that I was using the planner, I decided to script on each of those eight areas that they have here. So the eight areas are the area of spirituality, health, personal growth, family, money, fun and recreational goals, career and business, and relationships. Out of all the different wheels of life that I've used, out of all the different planners I've used, I like the way that this particular planner breaks out the different areas of life. And I haven't found anything that's as comprehensive to date. What I did was, you know, here they they tell you to uh, create a mind map of your goals and set goals in each of these areas. But what I did instead was I scripted what I wanted to be thinking, feeling and experiencing in each of the eight areas. I chose those three things to focus on because what we believe and how we move through our life really stems from our repetitive thoughts. So as children, we're taught um, intentionally by our parents and our caregivers and our teachers certain ways of thinking. And if you remember, these ways of thinking are drilled into our mind, like they're repeated over and over again. The golden rule. We have all these stories in mind that our caregivers and teachers use to influence our behavior. And so those things, as they were programmed into us, became our repetitive thoughts. And no matter what we do today, they still sit in our subconscious mind. And you'll find yourself repeating things that you learned as a child to this day when you're kind of deciding how you're going to move through a situation. We can reprogram those automatic thoughts and the thoughts that we think over and over and over again become our beliefs and they become the foundation for all of our emotions and our thinking and our feeling become the foundation for our experiences.
So those repetitive thoughts that turn into beliefs that influence how we feel, how we react to certain situations, causes our reticular activating system to pay attention to certain things in our environment and either move towards or away from those things. So if we can get to the root of the matter, if we can get to the thoughts and the feelings and the experiences, then we can transform our entire life. For example, in the area of spirituality, what I would script is, what would I ideally be thinking about feeling and experiencing if my spiritual life was exactly the way I wanted it to be? And an example of something I might script is, you know, I think daily about how grateful I am to be part of this reality. And I feel at peace. I feel generally calm and safe. And I am experiencing bliss and a constant state of mindfulness. And so that's what I may write for that area. And then in the area of health, my thoughts that I would want to be having ideally may be something like, I love working out. I feel so good when I'm in the gym. Working out is easy for me. And the feelings that I might script about are, I feel energetic, I feel healthy, I feel vibrant. And the experiences that I might script are, I can, you know, play with my kids all day. I have endless energy when I'm on vacation. You know, I would just detail the ideal types of experience I want to have. So I do that for each of the eight areas of life. Once I've scripted for each one, I kind of create a story around that. So I take the bits and pieces. I may just leave them in the order that I wrote them down, you know, no particular order. Or I may take those sentences and weave them into a story. And then I record that story in my own voice on my phone. So there's an app called Voice Recorder. I think all the iPhones come with it, but if it's not already on your phone, it's really easy to download apps that record your voice. And so what I'll do is I'll read what I wrote and I'll read it until it's almost memorized. So it only takes me like a couple times to like get the, the feel for the, um, the story that I've written. And then I record it in my own voice and I play it back to myself on a regular basis. I may play it back, you know, as I'm taking a long walk. I may play it repetitively as I'm falling asleep, but I um, replay it so much that it's memorized and I replay it and think about it so much that it becomes part of my subconscious programming. So I've done this in the form of individual affirmations for years. And there are certain affirmations that for whatever reason have just stuck with me. And now no one could convince me that those things aren't true. And my life experiences have begun to reflect that. When I started doing this technique a few years ago, it took a while. It may have taken like a year or two because in a lot of cases when you start this, your current life doesn't yet reflect what you're creating in the 5D. It hasn't yet dropped down into your experience. So it can actually be challenging to listen to, but the repetition is key. And if you repeat it enough, your life will naturally start to reflect these things. And if you have experiences that contradict your ideal experience, this stuff will play like (laughs) an annoying song in the back of your head. So I may be, you know, struggling at the gym one day. I may be tired, right? I may have been drinking or doing something else I wasn't supposed to be doing. And I show up at the gym and the workout is tough. And I'm like, man, why am I even here? Like, how did I get here? This is horrible. Well, if I've been listening to my story about what I would ideally be thinking, feeling and experiencing, it It argues with my current experience and that's how you know it's sinking in. So if I'm at the gym and I'm struggling, I'm like, I hate it here. That voice will come into my mind and be like, no, you love working out. You feel your best when you're at the gym and that will become the new normal for me. So yes, I may still have a bad day at the gym, but I now identify as someone who usually loves to be at the gym and that just becomes more and more true over time. It's the same in some of the other areas. For example, with money. An example of what I might write down is, you know, a thought I have is that money is so easy to come by. I've always been good at making money. And a feeling I might talk about is I feel secure. 
I feel completely confident that I'll be able to cover all of my expenses and still have more left over to have fun. And an experience I might have is, you know, I, I'm able to afford expensive self-care treatments. All these things are currently true for me because this was part of the script that I created when I first started using this method. If anything that happens in my life contradicts that, it's like, no, 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 no. That's not who you are. And immediately when I shift my perspective in that way or when, you know, the repetitive thoughts that I've put into this script and then recorded in my voice and played back to myself, when they start popping up, immediately I start coming up with ways to move into that new identity. So let's say, you know, back to the gym example, if I'm in the gym and I'm having a particularly tough day and then those thoughts about how much I love the gym come to mind, I may choose a different exercise or I may, you know, take a little bit longer rest and give myself a little more time to build my energy back up so that the next exercise is more pleasurable to experience. You know, I may make small adjustments or in the money example, If I start to get nervous about resources because I'm watching the news or I'm listening to, you know, people talk about the recession and all this type stuff. um, Once those thoughts that I scripted pop into my head, come to my remembrance, well, then all of a sudden my mind opens up and I'm thinking of new ways to earn more income or I'm thinking of ways that I can create more value on the job to make myself indispensable. So doing this isn't some magic potion. It really is just a way to allow you to think of yourself in a way that makes you see things from a different perspective. The difference between most of us and the reality that we experience, you know, from one person to another is usually perspective. Because I know you've had the experience where, you know, something seems so simple to you, but then you look at someone else struggling and you're like, why don't they just do X, Y, Z. Like it's not even that hard. It's harder for them to go through this difficult experience than it is to just change one behavior because you identify as a person who understands, you know, what to do in that situation. Whereas that person just may never have been exposed to it or they just don't think of themselves as a person who's able to overcome whatever it is. I got cut off by an alarm. Um, But I was just saying that sometimes people get caught up in situations where they just don't identify as a person who would handle something in a different way. And so this identity shift is key for us to begin making different decisions if we want to see changes in our lives. Instead of keeping your current identity and trying to force yourself to do things that don't match that identity, that are uncomfortable for that current identity, Shift your identity altogether through repetition. Listen to the audio that you create, you know, one to two times a week is enough. The amount of times that you should listen, um, the frequency with which you should listen just depends on how fast you want it to become something that just plays in the back of your mind. It typically takes me and some people say they can do the law of assumption and they can just immediately shift identities. And I think that that's possible. But typically it will take me about a year of hearing the same thing over and over again for it to become something that pops into my mind if I'm faced with a challenge or if I'm faced with a decision. So give it time and make it something pleasant. So one of the things that I did in the app, one of the apps that I have on my phone, you can take an audio that you create and then play music over top. So my favorite artist is Stevie Wonder. I took my recording and I play Stevie Wonder over the recording. Another thing that this does is whenever I hear, and it it was an instrumental, so there were no words when I played it over my recording. But now whenever I hear the song itself, it also is a trigger to help me remember the things that I said in my scripting and in my affirmations. So everything that people are saying about identity shifting is absolutely true. I am not the same person that I was a decade ago. I'm not the same person I was three years ago. And it is super exciting to me to be able to just sit down like this, look at these different areas and decide what kind of person I want to be by mapping out the thoughts, feelings and experiences of someone who has the things that I want to have. The most exciting thing about this is you don't have to have the thing yet and you can still enjoy feeling like that person. 
I can get excited about being super energetic, about loving the gym, about being a Pilates mom, whatever it is I want to create in the upcoming years and months before even starting. I can allow myself to feel those feelings, to have those experiences ahead of time and train myself so that those feelings and thoughts are automatic for me. And then when I'm moving through the world, I don't have to think so hard. I don't have to overcome myself in order to enter into the appropriate habits and appropriate patterns of thinking to have the experience. So give it a try, you know. Even if you want to shorten it, let's just say you want to take one of the areas of life and just focus on that and do a simple, you know, three sentence. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm feeling. And this is what I'm experiencing. And even just write it on a piece of paper and say it to yourself once a day. Whatever it is, the objective is to focus on the identity shift, the thoughts, feelings and experiences versus any specific goal and see how you feel in 60 days, 90 days. Um, in six months. And I think you'll be surprised at how much you change as a person. I think we all change as people over time based on our experiences and the things that happen to us. But a lot of times it feels beyond our control. The truth is we can grab the reins. We can decide who we evolve into. And it's not complicated. It's just a matter of becoming aware of your ability to do so and then taking simple steps like these in order to bring it to pass. So just to recap, what you want to do to create an identity shift is look at all the areas of life. In my case, I like to look at spirituality, health and wellness, family, money, fun and recreation, career and business, relationships and personal growth. That's eight areas. And then in each of those areas, write a small paragraph stating how you would ideally be thinking, what you would ideally be feeling, and what experiences you would ideally be having in all of those areas. Consolidate that into a story about how your life is, how you're experiencing life. Record that in your own voice and play it back to yourself as often as you think about it before you go to sleep at night, when you're taking walks, when you're taking breaks at work, whenever you can. Let me know in the comments if you've done something like this before or if you're going to try it and you want to share your experience.